hey guys this is jam of jamaline.ph and welcome back to my channel and today we're gonna do a gaming review of the realme 7 so the realme 7 is quite interesting kasi meron tayong mga minor upgrades dito compared to the previous generation yes we still got here the 6.5 inch ips display with a 90 hertz refresh rate uh but this time we're getting here a faster helio g95 processor and of course we're getting here an 8 gigs of ram 128 gigs of internal storage and of course a second generation sony 64 megapixel quad camera setup um unlike the realme 7 pro this one would only have a 30 watts na charging but we got here a bigger battery at 5000 milliamp hours which is essential for gaming so you already know uh the basic specifications now let's do some gaming test on the realme 7. so for this session we're gonna play mobile legends muna um, so the graphics settings, surprisingly, we got your HFR mode. With the Realme 7 Pro, we do not have the HFR mode. So I do not know why, but we've set the graphics settings at high. You can see in here we got optimized FPS, uh, shadows, HD mode, everything is on. But we got HFR, which uh, is wala dun sa Realme 7 Pro. So time to do a classic mode. So let's try playing the game, and uh, let's benchmark this one again once na nandun na tayo sa mismong game okay so the game has started so let's uh start benchmarking this one and let's see the frames na makukuha natin dito i believe this one would run um mobile legends at 60 frames per second uh without any problems so right now we're running the game at 58 57 median frames per second again we've set it up at the highest settings possible uh na pwede natin enable dito sa larong to and yeah wala naman akong problema so far i'm pretty happy with this one Okay, first blood, nice. Okay, so let's see, boys. So right now, we're running the game at uh, 56 median frames per second. But so far, hindi ko makita yung, hindi ko napapansin yung frame drops. I'm really enjoying the 60 frames per second that we're getting here dito sa smartphone na to. Okay. I, I really enjoy that one. Okay, so it's running at 59, 54, so... Nandun lang naman. But I believe tataas pa ito median frames per second natin. Um, after a while. So, tingnan muna natin. Bigyan, bigyan muna natin ng konting minuto bago tayo uh, mag-give up sa so, sinabi ko about tataas na eh. Kasi mukha naman tumataas. Kasi nasa 59 frames per second. So, tingnan natin pag merong clash. Mamaya sa gitna, maybe we could get to see uh, better frame rates. Or media, uh, get to see uh, yung dip na frame rates. But right now, I'm enjoying 56 to 59 na median frames per second on the smartphone. So, medyo nagkakamera na clash dun sa gitna. So, let's try helping our friends in there. Baka naman kailangan nila ng konting tulong. Okay, so medyo umatras muna tayo because I don't think kaya nakatin yan. Agad-agad. Hindi na tayo nagra-rush. But yeah. Oh, okay. So, our median frames per second has reached 57. Okay, tumaas siya tumaas yung median frames per second natin which is a good sign na tumaas yung median frames per second natin okay but yeah so far nakikita nyo naman uh, the display is nice but it isn't as good as the realme 7 pro's amoled panel i still prefer the super amoled panel of uh, the realme 7 pro mas maganda talaga siya tignan mas maganda yung kulay compared to the ips panel na itong um, uh, realme 7 but yeah later on after this game we'll try out realme Ra real realme racing real racing 3 and let's see if Pwede na ba magka ng 90 FPS sa smartphone na to since we got here 90 hertz refresh rate. Baka naman na-enable na. So, tingnan natin. Okay? Tingnan lang natin. Mabilisan lang yan. Just a test. Okay. So, um, let's see. Tapusin muna natin yung game na to. Mag-enjoy muna tayo dito. And let's see yung median frames per second natin. Okay. But yeah. Right now, it's 59 frames per second. May mga konti lang. Very minimal talaga yung mga frame drops dito. For 53, 52. Um... Hindi siya kasi ano straight nung sa Realme 7 uh, kasi nasa wala siyang HFR mode. So dito nakikita niya may 55 53. But yeah, nag-upgrade din kasi ng graphics si Mobile Legends. So maraming changes na nangyari. So yeah, uh, mas maganda yung graphics as expected and of course maapektuhan yung ating uh, gameplay experience natin sa smartphone. But the Snapdragon, ah, the, sorry, the MediaTek um, Helio G95 it's a very capable processor when it comes to gaming. Sobrang kaya. Walang ka problem problema Okay? Nakikita nyo, nagkakamera ng fluctuation eh. Hindi siya smooth. Unlike uh, the Snapdragon 720G. Snapdragon 720G talagang ganun eh. Straight. With the, uh, with the MediaTek G95, yes, higher your frame rates natin, but it's not 
uh, the same performance nakita natin na uh, stable yung frames but so far I'm happy and hindi ko napapansin yung drop ng yung frame drops to 52 Siguro kung walang HFR mode, siguro may inis ako. Tapos may mga frame drop sa ganito. But uh, with the Realme 7, so far, so good. No problems at all. Naka-legendary tayo. So, not that bad. Okay? Not that bad. Um, we're already at 7 minute mark. The median frames per second has dropped to 55 median FPS. Uh, okay. So, we've ended na at 7 minutes. 19, ano. Okay. So, may mga frame drops tayo. Noticeable frame drops. We got HFR mode on at least compared to the Realme 7 Pro. But yeah, everything is running just fine. It's running better than I expected actually. So uh, yeah, um, return. Let's see. Okay, so level 4, four pa rin tayo. Hindi pa rin tayo nagle-level unfortunately. So kailangan natin mapa-level up. Uh, para makapag-connect ma -connect natin sa ano. Google Play. But yeah, um, you've seen um, Mobile Legends Bang Bang on the Realme 7. Now, let's proceed to our next game, which is Real Racing 3. And tignan natin kung possible na nga ba magkameron ng 90 FPS dito sa ating 90 Hertz display ng Realme 7. So tara, samahan nyo ako. So for our next game, it's actually Real Racing 3, not Realme Racing 3. Katulad sinabi ko kanina. So this game is actually capable of uh, up to, I believe, 144 frames per second on some smartphones but right now we got here a 90 hertz refresh rate na smartphone and uh, let's see if kaya na ba kasi previously kahit na 90 hertz refresh rate tayo do sa previous realme 6 pro as uh, a realme 6 rather hindi tayo na reach ng 90 frames per second up to 60 frames per second so this time let's see if capable na ba si realme 7 so um let's resume and let's start our game bench on this one so give me a few seconds as we start our game bench there we go so our game bench is already starting and yeah um okay so too bad it's still at 60 frames per second maximum okay okay so tingnan natin once na tumakbo tayo uh if magkakamera ba na changes um no unfortunately it's still at 60 frames per second but yeah um let's finish the game na din and let's see yung ating frame rate sa makukuha or FPS stability rather, and also yung ating uh, median FPS. But I believe it's 60 uh, per 60 FPS with 100% FPS stability considering that the smartphone is really powerful and hindi na magkakaproblema sa gantong um, hardware. So yan. Wala, mabilis lang to actually. I think it's less than 2 minutes. And mag e na kagad yung game natin ng Real, uh, Real Racing 3. So let's try um, overtaking Hamilton. Is this the Hamilton from F1? Because if he is, talo ko na siya. <laughs> there we go. Actually, less than a minute nga lang siya. Okay, so, um, yan. Uh, we've ended our game bench. That's a minute and 8 seconds. The median FPS is 100, uh, 60 uh, FPS. And I believe 100% FPS stability. Unfortunately, walang 90 frames per second on this one. So, guys, nakita nyo na how about uh, mag-proceed na tayo sa next game natin, which is Call of Duty. So, for our next game, it's Call of Duty Mobile. And again, Helio G95. Naka-experience tayo ng problems before sa mga Helio processors. And this one is no exception as this one is only capable of very high graphic settings with high frame rate. Wala tayong max frame rate on this one. But I believe kaya niya pa rin 60 frames per second kasi hindi ko pa rin maintindihan ng Call of Duty kung bakit may max frame rate and yet uh, kahit na nasa high frame rate tayo minsan nakaka-reach pa rin na 60. Okay, we still enabled everything that we can enable. Nakita niyo naman, depth of field, bloom, real-time shadows, ragdoll, and also water reflection. Okay, so nag-start na yung knockdown. Let's start uh, game bench and let's see if mayroon nga bang mangyayari. Okay, so walang nangyayari. Um... So, it's still 60 frames per second. The graphics is still nice, but napansin ko talaga, the AMOLED panel of uh, the Realme 7 Pro is a lot better uh, when it comes to colors. Try natin tapusin itong game na to. Let's see. And we're getting 59 median frames per second as expected. Mamaya, we're, we're also gonna do a uh, temperature test or temp, uh, kukunin natin temps ng smartphone and we'll see if merong nga bang major differences. Uh, if meron nga bang uh, big difference compared sa Realme 7 Pro and pas mainit nga ba to or what. Probably pag naglaro na tayo Black Desert Mobile. But right now, as you can see, uh, the game is running pretty well. Um, you can see in here, it's 59 frames per second, 60 
it's going down to 56 weirdly pero hindi naman palagi uh, i'm not sure which part yung bumababa siya to, to 60 but yeah if you're playing mobile legend siguro mas maganda mag off plan for Lil Mi 7 rather than the 7 pro kasi parang mas ma- na enjoy ko yung hfr pero yun nga yung colors talaga yung colors lang talaga sayang lang yung colors I think wala namang major frame drops. Meron tayong 56 kanina uh, for some unknown reason. But so far, okay tayo. The median frames per second is still 59. Uh, nakikita nyo naman, the graph below, 60, 55. So yeah, um, everything is running smoothly so far. It's not as smooth as um, Snapdragon. I think yun yung advantage ng Snapdragon. If you have a Snapdragon processor, you can get um, a stable na frame rates. Uh, stable to the graph, but with this one, I'm not sure why we're getting like this. Na may mga counting 56. It, it isn't annoying though. Very unnoticeable sa akin. Uh, yung ganong frame drops. Hindi siya ganong ka distracting na may ganon lang yari sa smartphone ko. So far so good. So far so good naman tayo dito. 55. Nagda down tayo to 55. And their median frames per second pa rin naman is 59. Similar to what we got on the Realme 7 Pro. So all in all, still fine with me. Nothing too distracting. Okay, ta- okay, okay yung frame rates natin dito. Actually, sobrang optimized ang Call of Duty with almost all of their devices. So, weirdly lang, kanina nakita nyo the frame rates, wala tayong max frame rate, but we're still getting 60 frames per second. Uh, up to 60 frames. So, it's 6, 56, 52. We're going down to 52, surprisingly. Okay, victory na pala. So, let's end this one. So, yeah, if you've seen the graph below, uh, you can see that there are some drops below. You can see that there's 52, may mga... Um, Nag- below 50 pa nga yata kanina I'm not sure I'm not sure if there's below 50 but yeah it's not as stable as the Snapdragon 720G which is weird and um, I can feel that it's a little bit warmer compared to the Snapdragon 720G now you've seen Call of Duty Mobile now let's proceed to our next game so we're gonna play um, PUBG Mobile man this time so I'm gonna show you first the graphic settings we got it at balance settings kasi pag HD it's only available at high frame rates uh, HDR is not available, so balance, ultra, colorful style with anti-aliasing, similar to, and also shadows, similar to what we have enabled earlier on the Realme 7 Pro. So we're gonna do um, team death match again, arena mode, fine. Okay, so uh, we're gonna start benchmarking this one once na mag start na yung game. So let's see, give me a few seconds lang, few seconds, and we'll start benchmarking this one. Okay, so I'm guessing that we're gonna get um, ultra. 40 frames per second dito. Okay, so yeah, it's expected. We're getting 40 frames per second. Smooth 40 frames per second now that PUBG Mobile has been optimized compared to some previous versions of PUBG Mobile. So we're getting a lot a better performance in here. No frame drops, but I'm expecting na baka magkameron because of the experience na nakita natin kanina on uh, uh, Call of Duty Mobile. So yeah, let's see. Okay, so meron tayong 39 kanina na nakita. Uh, we're gonna lose the game. I can see that from now. Na half na kagat kami. But yeah, um, you can see the median frames per second is still at 40. Super smooth naman so far. So far. Uh, and expand natin yung graph. Nakikita nyo naman na so far so good ah. Hmm. Maganda yung nakukuha natin frames with PUBG Mobile. Alright now. Maybe next time mag- mag-iba naman tayo ng game. Hindi na to. Kasi um, parang napapansin ko na parang umokay na. On PUBG Mobile compared before. <laughs> okay, so weirdly, the median frames per second has gone down to 39. So I was expecting a 40 lang siya, but yeah, I think may mga frame drops na to 39 to uh, kanina. Okay, so we're losing the game as expected. So that's what I said earlier, but I'm teleport or naglalag lang ako, I am not sure. But the median frames per second is still at 39. Hindi ko alam kung ano mag FPS stability ko dito, okay? So, one of the things na napansin ko talaga with MediaTek is that it, they're not as stable as the Snapdragon. It's also warmer too. So, mamaya malalaman natin, pero ramdam ko na. It's warmer than uh, the Snapdragon 720G. The Snapdragon 720G got 38.5. I'm not surprised it could reach uh, 38.9 dito or at least uh, 39 siguro uh, sa Realme 7. But yeah, it's not that bad considering na meron tayo HFR mode. Yun talaga eh, may HFR mode tayo sa Mobile Legends. Yung Realme 7 Pro, hindi ko alam bakit wala siyang HFR mode. Just, that's disappointing actually, na wala tayo HFR mode sa Realme uh, 7 Pro. 
That's the pro version. I was expecting na mayroon, okay? Red Team Victory. That's 4 minutes and 34 seconds. Uh, the median frames per second, okay. The median frames per second went up to 40 FPS. Okay, wala akong magagawa doon. But yeah, so far so good with the Realme 7. Um, everything was really fine. I'm, I'm not sure why the graphic settings is complicated with Call of Duty. But yeah, you've seen it. We got a like, high median frames per second on both games earlier. No 90 FPS. Um, I think this one, yung talagang magtetest the next game, yung magtetest sa kanya ng power niya, which is Black Desert Mobile. So, check natin yung temperature na makukuha natin with the Realme 7. So, right now, medyo mainit kasi siya, so gusto kong malaman. So, we've reached up to 40 degrees Celsius. Okay, meron siya 40 degrees Celsius. Even 40.6. So, yeah, medyo mainit yung MediaTek uh, compared to the Snapdragon 720G. And, um, um, and hindi pa siya uh, tumatakbo on Black Desert Mobile which is a heavier and uh, more demanding game. So, goro pag naglaro tayo mas matagal doon at a higher graphic settings, baka mas uh, magkamera tayo higher temperatures. But yeah, the Realme 7 still capable. So yeah, tara, punta tayo sa Black Desert Mobile. And lastly, we're gonna play Black Desert Mobile. A very demanding game. Okay, so, um, okay, so uh, we're gonna set it up at the highest settings possible. Nakita niya na, nag-adjust automatically. So we're gonna set it up at the highest settings possible. Maximum resolution, maximum frame rates. And uh, let's see uh, if we can benchmark this one. Okay, so right now, okay, give me a few seconds. Okay, so right now, uh, we're only getting 25 median frames per second at close up but uh, dito it's up to 42 so depende kung nasa ang area kayo talaga but how about if we um, you know mga kalaban tingnan natin if magka meron ba okay so maraming effects maraming changes let's see if um, how it will affect our game or our um, FPS so we've reached up to 30 26 so, may frame drops talaga tayo dito. Medyo malapit yung kanyang frames na nakuha natin sa Realme 7 Pro. But so far, this is quite good. It's 29. Okay, so it, let's expand everything. So, you can see here the frame drops below. Um, everything's running so well. It's running so well right now. 27, 26. Yeah, this is during uh, the battle scenes. Now, um, you've seen that it went down up to 19 i believe or 80 or i think it didn't reach below 20 but um you've seen that the, there are a lot of frame drops that is happening uh earlier but right now uh it's running at 31 uh inside a town let's see if we could get better frame rates we're getting 33 median frames per second right now so yeah just like the snapdragon 720g of the realme 7 pro um, hindi tayo super okay pagdating sa FPS dito. Talaga may frame drops. But you can get better FPS if you turn down the settings, turn down the graphic settings. And yeah, you can see in here, 31 median frames per second. And then uh, 33, once we start na yung battle. It's going down to 27, 28. Okay, so depend sa effect na nangyayari. Effects na nangyayari sa, pat, sa battle scenes, 26. So um, yeah, medyo malaki yung effect niya. Uh, but uh, once we close up tayo dito, tingnan natin. Once we close up tayo dito, uh, nagkakameron tayo ba na frame drops yan? Meron pa rin frame drops. So, maguli frames natin. Ito, mas mabagal. It's 23. Pag may light effects talaga na nangyayari dito sa game na to, talagang bumababa yung frame rates natin. So, yeah. I guess that's it dito sa Black Desert Mobile. Now, time to do our verdict for the Realme 7. For the verdict, let's check out first the benchmark. So first one is actually a 3D mark. You can see in here, we got here a really high score of 2,688 for the OpenGL ES 3.1. And for Vulkan, that's 2,736. Not bad. Not bad. It's actually pretty good. Then, of course, on Antutu, I was surprised that we got a score here of 300,842. So we, uh, it defeated 32% of users of Antutu, which is pretty good for a smartphone at 49.90. Okay, so the next one is actually um, Geekbench. So we got a score of 538 on a single core and a 1713 on multi-core, which means that uh, the MediaTek G95 is actually pretty powerful. It's um, a gaming chipset for a mid-range smartphone. But yeah, 
you've seen the benchmarks, you've seen uh, the numbers, but how about, of course, the verdict that we're waiting for the game bench? Okay, so we got the scores below. You can see the scores uh, that we got earlier. So let's start with uh, Mobile Legends Bang Bang. Earlier, um, we're surprised that we got here an HFR mode compared to the uh, Realme 7 Pro. So this one, this time we got here a 55 frames per second for the median frames per second with 99% FPS stability. And of course, uh, we also tried Real Racing 3 just to prove that the smartphone cannot run more than 60 frames per second. So uh, we're able to run the game at 60 frames per second with 100% FPS stability. We've also tried Call of Duty Mobile, which is weirdly enough, uh, there's only a few selection for the graphics settings, but we're still uh, able to get a high median frames per second of 59 FPS with 100% FPS stability. In PUBG Mobile, we are only able to reach up to ultra frame rates with the balanced graphic settings. So uh, with the high graphic settings, it's only up. Oh, sorry. With the HD graphic settings, we can only uh, only have a choice for um, the high frame rates. Unfortunately, walang ultra frame rates for that one. Uh, and then of course, um, lastly, we got Black Desert Mobile. So this one is fluctuating naman when it comes to score. So we got here a 31 frames per second as expected. Nandun lang sa range na 25 to 35 at the highest settings possible. Then we got here 79% FPS stability. As expected, you've seen the graph earlier. Uh, it's fluctuating, it's not smooth, it's not flat because the graphics of the, bla of the game is kind of heavy. So hopefully next time, pag nag benchmark time, we can change the games na uh, since some of the games like Call of Duty Mobile is a little bit um, not too demanding na. Very optimized, very optimized. But yeah, you've seen the scores, it's interesting. If you're into uh, Mobile Legends, I highly suggest get the Realme 7 instead of the Realme 7 Pro to get HFR. Yes, mas maganda yung panel ni 7 Pro but um, I think it's more essential for gaming that you have a 60 frames per second on the Mobile Legends. So, uh, the other things, well, I'm quite surprised that the Realme 7 got a really high score compared to the Realme 7 Pro when it comes to scores. Uh, the difference is medyo malaki. It's substantial talaga yung difference. Um, yeah, the Realme 7 is a truly a gaming smartphone for the mid-range segment and I'm really interested uh, with this one. Okay? Walang na may 90Hz display. Unfortunately, hindi siya uh, enabled sa mga games. Hopefully, they could do something about that in the future. But right now, wala tayong magagawa doon. So yeah, I guess that's it for our gaming review of uh, the Realme 7. So if you like this video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. And of course, if you hindi pa kayo subscribe sa channel ko, be sure to click that subscribe button along with that bell button to get notified of my latest videos here at my YouTube channel. So once again, I am Jam of Jamonline.ph. Thank you for watching and see you guys again on my next video. Peace.